Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Sunday, July 11th, or it could be Monday, July 12th when you watch this if you're in Australia and New Zealand. And the moon is in Leo all day. Of course, Leo is a very self-expressive moon, and so we can expect people to be um, speaking their minds, perhaps, or maybe more appropriately speaking their heart, as Leo is the sign that rules the heart, actually. Um, today we have two aspects that I want to, well, two, well, two things that are happening with Mercury that I want to talk about, and then, of course, what's going on with the moon today. So today we have a semi-square um, semi between Mercury and Uranus. Uh, semi-squares are 45 degree angles, and you could either have a waxing or a waning semi-square. And semi-squares take the energy of expansion and starts moving it in the direction of contraction or the direction of, instead of moving outward, moving inward. And um, Mercury and Uranus have a special relationship because Mercury is the planet associated with our lower mind, um, our um, the way that we take in information that informs um, our relationship to our environment. Uh, Mercury is sort of uh, Mercury rules the nervous system, and we the nervous system is the interface between the inner and the outer. Uh, what we experience in the outer, like it's warm today, so my neurons, uh, my temperature receptors are telling me it's warm um, or giving that information to my brain and my brain is coming up with this idea that, oh, I guess it's warm today, right? This is how things work. And Mercury um, sort of is the, is the planet that sort of gives us information about that. Now, of course... We have, Mercury has been in Gemini for a long time, and uh, it does make, while it's still in Gemini, it does make this semi-square to Uranus in Taurus. Uranus is uh, associated with the higher mind, with our individuated unconscious. And so within Uranus, we have memories of the past, uh, visions of the future, and our connection to our past lives. Every year, Uranus and Mercury make a conjunction, starting their synodic cycle. And now we're at the 45 degree place of that. And so information that has come into us through that Uranian connection um, is now moving inward so we can start to make sense of it. And so there's, if you've had revelations or downloads of any kind, this is the time when we start bringing that within ourselves and uh, trying to, to the best of our ability, create a blueprint for us to sort of go in the direction of our inspirations, go in the direction of that Uranus um, conjunct Mercury. Um, so, so that's interesting. The other thing about Mercury today is that it is changing signs. It is moving into Cancer. Now, Mercury in Cancer is a very sensitive uh, and emotional position for Mercury. Um, it's not necessarily in it, it, Mercury in Cancer isn't considered like necessarily a problem for Mercury, but it does. Um, the the what's the word I'm looking for we take in information through our emotional body while Mercury is in Cancer now Mercury is only going to be in Cancer I think for like two and a half weeks it moves into Leo uh, actually before the end of this this month or maybe shortly thereafter um, but Mercury in Cancer does bring a certain amount of sensitivity and the thing with Cancer is, because it's ruled by the moon, every time the moon changes, there'll be a different flavor of how we take in information. Right now, as Mercury moves into Cancer, the moon is in Leo. May 
Main Street always has a lot of motorcycles, so I'm walking through Main Street. This is what happens. So, so at this time, we're taking in information through our emotional bodies, but it's connected to that Leo energy. So we might be more outgoing. We might be more willing to sort of follow our heart with things. So, uh, and then each, the next, the next, uh, the next uh, sign that, of course, this, the moon will go in will be uh, Virgo. And so we will, we will be experiencing that uh, Cancer, um, that Cancer Mercury with a little Virgo tinge, right? So, <laughs> so, so that, so we can expect the way we take in information to change and shift every two and a half days um which is cool because it helps us to get a a bigger broader picture of uh of our lives now the other thing that's happening is the moon is making an op moon in leo of course is making an opposition to uh saturn and a square to uranus bringing in that saturn uranus square that's in the sky right now that's been in the sky all year and will continue to be in the sky all year but what the leo moon does um following in the footsteps of uh, mars and then venus uh we get a perspective and it's a very personal perspective about an awareness around um what we're responsible for what we need to take responsibility for and also how to make the changes necessary to align us with our newfound uh, realizations, our newfound uh, understanding of where we fit in and uh, how we're going to work with that energy, right? So a pretty nice day altogether, um, a more maybe emotional day than we could imagine. That's all that cancer energy and Mercury moving into Cancer. So, um, and I just, it's, I've been a little late today. I've been actually a little late doing these. Um, for some reason, when I get up, I don't feel so impelled to get out there. Um, and I'm taking things a little easier than I usually do. So, thank you for your uh, understanding on that. So, let's look at a couple of things that are in the yard. We really don't... Uh, we really don't, um, we let things grow around here, uh, sometimes to our detriment and sometimes not. But this here is uh, mullen, and uh, it's a very, uh, it's, it's a medicinal plant. It's actually really good for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's good for lungs. Uh, you could smoke mullen leaves. Um, you can make it in a tea, and the flowers are good uh, to put in some olive oil because it helps with ear infections. Um, so there's that. That's growing here. And hopefully it's still growing back here. But uh, I'll take you back this way. This is why I like keeping certain things wild. I did have to mow up here because, you know, this is Massachusetts and we do have to be careful of the tick situation. Um, with the Lyme disease and such. And I have gotten it a few times, so it's no picnic, let me tell you. But now these, these are kind of past, but this is St. John's wort. This is St. John's wort, which is good for depression. Um, but they say that what grows in your yard, if you let it, is the medicine that you need. So... Um, if you have this kind of wildness uh, in your yard, or at least maybe you need to give a little piece of your yard, if you can, uh, a spot for some wildness so that uh, Mother Nature can tell you what it is that you need, right? There's a lot of bittersweet here, which is I've been battling for years. But bittersweet is actually good for arthritis. So, uh, and you know, there's a lot of arthritis in this area for whatever reason, genetic or food wise, or just hard work. 
<laughs> so anyway all right guys I'm gonna let you go as I walk through uh, the wildness of my yard and uh, this is our little peach tree um, it's like a mini peach it's pretty prolific but the peaches are really tiny they're kind of tasty though this is a uh, cherry we never never seem to get any cherries because I think the birds eat them <laughs> or the flowers that we have issues with the flowers and the moths and stuff but um, and oh let me show you this I don't know if you've this feathery stuff right here for those of you who don't know this is asparagus this is what asparagus looks like when you let it grow so it's pretty cool and when the sun is on it after it's rained it's, it's like sparkling it's really it's really kind of neat so that's your <laughs> that's your garden tour for the day not so showy that rose that i started with was actually booze rose um so it's good to see his rose coming up and here's another um this is another uh, peach tree and these peaches are a, a bit a bigger ow ow i just walked into a peach tree ow that hurt see, see them? little fuzzy fuzzy butts <sighs> so i know the uh, groundhog loves to hang around here because yeah, there's a lot of peaches on this tree and so some of them just drop off and uh, then there's some dropped off peaches there they just seem to drop off uh, then the uh, the woodchuck gets to munch on them all right guys well have yourself a great day like and subscribe my uh, my driveway is full of metal right now because the guys are gonna come pick it up tomorrow hopefully uh, and we'll get rid of more junk. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Much love. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this camera work. Take care. <laughs>